This is Earl Flora. The night before the 1970 Hamiltonian, within the carnival atmosphere of the DeCoin State Fair, Stan Bergstein and I had the opportunity to sit down with several of the drivers and discuss the big race shaping up for the next afternoon. Stan Dancer, how big a thrill is it to have that boy sitting alongside of you driving in the Hamiltonian? Well, this is a great thrill. Uh, I'll probably be more nervous with him driving into it, and I would as if he wasn't, but uh, it's a great thrill. Uh, have my son driving in the race. It seems like uh, yesterday he was sitting on my lap. Ronnie, at 12, you were only interested in showing pigeons. Now at 21, you're one of the youngest drivers ever to drive in the Hamiltonian. When did you get the harness racing bug? Well, it wasn't until I was in high school that I really got interested working during the summers with the horses. And I also got out from under my father's wing and worked for Del Cameron. So. I was, I was really about 14, 15 when I started working with the horses, but prior to that, it wasn't that I liked, I followed them, but I never uh, worked with them. Vernon Dancer, what's the story with Victory Star? What are your chances? Well, we've had our problems this year with Victory Star. He's had a hawk problem since we raced him in the Dexter at Roosevelt with Bonnie. We got that in pretty good shape just before Vernon Downs, and then he came up with a splint which has been bothering him ever since. I trained him here last Wednesday, and he trained real good, and I'm hoping for the best tomorrow. Thank you, Irvin. This is your 16th Hamiltonian. Would you say this race carries more significance than any other in the sport? Yes, I'd compare the Hamiltonian to the Kentucky Derby, which the sports world is focused in on Duke flying the Hamiltonian every year for this one day, which they can't get with any other harness race in the United States. Howard Bisinger, a year ago, you took the Hamiltonian and the Big Five with Lindy Fry. You said at that time you'd just taken each race one at a time. What about this year with your Hamiltonian entry, Paris Air? Well, here again, I've been taking one race at a time, and I've been hoping all season he'd be good enough to start in the Hamiltonian. I don't know if he is, but uh, he's a nice cold, and uh, with some luck, I think he might get some money. But, uh, it's certainly a little more relaxing uh, this year than it was last year. George Schulte, does relative inexperience in a colt such as your mount, Luther Hanover, play much of a part in a big field such as this? Yeah, I think it does in a field this, uh, this big, 15 colts starting, and uh, I've got the five hole, and uh, we'll, I'll have a trailer behind me, and uh, he's just not quite handy or seasoned enough to trot with those colts out of there to, to take advantage of a position or if somebody makes a break where I could move him quick to get in a place, I'll have to be real careful and just be pros on him. But I think if I'm close to head the stretch without having to use him too far, I've, uh, he can talk with about anybody's horse right now, I do believe. Bill Houghton has won more money in more races than any driver in the history of North American harness racing, and one of the few major classics that has escaped him is the Hamiltonian. This year, with probably the strongest contender he has ever had for the race in Gil Hanover, now sick and out of it, Bill looks at the race as an outsider. How does it look to you now, Bill, from the sidelines? Well, Stan, the other day I was out here to train my horse, and I saw Timothy T. train that day, and to me, he uh, trained exceptionally well. I won him two minutes and four fifths, last half and 59 and three, and looked like he was well within himself. And as far as I can see, uh, unless he gets in a lot of trouble, he stands out by quite a few lengths. Bill, no one is more respected in harness racing than you, and no one has done more for the sport. What does the Hamiltonian mean to you? I think it's the uh, ultimate uh, objective you could have in your life as far as racing is concerned. There's other races that uh, you could uh, win some races, have a first value of 300000 I don't think you could... Uh, feel as well as you would if you win Hamiltonian. You, you get a thing like this, you know. It's just, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of proud of that. And I think it's the ultimate thing in your profession. Do any of the others have a chance to upset Timothy T? Jimmy's got a cold in there called formal notice. And they, they timed him in two minutes in the fraction of the Fortune Park last week. Jimmy really thinks this is a great horse. And then Jimmy's not a, he's a little, as I say, a little conservative. And I think he's a, a nice cold, but I think it's just a, uh, it's the, uh, a little bit the luck of the draw, and anybody's got a chance outside of Timothy T. I think he is the best horse in the race. 